بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله some general advice about staying Muslim one of the most important the most important thing first and foremost is Tawheed and most of us I'm sure embraced Islam by having some idea about Tawheed about who Allah is that Islam is a religion that calls people to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and some of us were seeking a purpose and a direction in life and Islam gives us that purpose as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal insa li abudun i've not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me so we found that purpose and that purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and along with those things to help a person remain Muslim and this is from my own experience was of course the Tawheed for keeping the prayer as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says waqimu salah and establish the prayer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem wasta'inu bi sabri wa salah وَإِنَّهَا لَخَبِيرُتُونَ إِلَّا عَلَى خَاشِئِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and establish the prayer وَاسْتَعِينُ بِسَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ and be seek assistance from patience and the prayer for verily it is something something uh, maybe difficult something that's great something that's azim except for those who are fearful let's stop and reflect on this ayat and how it relates to our discussion of habit and I, I can relate it to my personal experience that when I was a new Muslim that what kept me being staying Muslim because we didn't have knowledge we didn't have people sharing with us that was way before the internet way before my community we had no one really no one sacrificing to teach us and we had very little desire to really know and understand what truly Islam was so for me personally it was the Salat I believed in Allah and I believed that Islam was the truth and I maintained the prayer I didn't pray the prayer necessarily properly though but I still kept to it if I was going to do something and this of course was in the beginning stages of my Islam I used to be a musician I used to do DJ and I'm sharing this just to share the experience I took breaks from my DJing to pray or usually those parties and those things happened after the the Isha prayer anyhow and wherever I was I maintained the Salat when I didn't know the ruling for Salat I used to pray at my job in the restroom because I didn't know and it was a clean restroom as clean as it can be you know it was, it was spotless it was a well-kept facility but I kept the prayer that's what kept me Muslim that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to keep me Muslim was that when you're being tested by doubts your family your friends many uh, other pressures pressures to to have uh, partners you know uh, extramarital affair you know uh, premarital affairs whatever you want to call it to have relations have boyfriends have girlfriends all those pressures were there but what kept me to stay Muslim 
وستعينوا بصبر وصلاة is being patient and adhering to the prayer. Patience, ahabat fi Allah, has different levels as the ulama mentioned. There's sabr ala ta'atillah. There's patience and obedience to Allah. There's patience and obedience to Allah. What does that mean? That means that a person is patient when even they want to do muharramat or things that are unlawful in Islam. We come from societies, we had girlfriends. We, the, the women, they had boyfriends. And they were used to a certain lifestyle and used to certain activities. But being patient on ta'atillah, meaning avoiding that, meaning uh, patience on, on ta'atillah, means being patient by keeping that prayer, keeping the commands of Allah. Patience and keeping the commands of Allah. So the next type of sabr, ahabatifillah, a sabr ala ma'asiyatillah. The second kind of patience is the kind that, that I was alluding to. And that is patience by avoiding sinfulness. Those things which Allah has prohibited. Allah has prohibited zina. Allah has prohibited stealing. Allah has prohibited uh, alcohol and drugs. So by being patient, that type of patient is when you refrain. So there's a patience by adhering to the commands of Allah. That's one type of patience. Then there's the patience of refraining, refraining from sinfulness. So that means the one who wants the girlfriend or several girlfriends, that they refrain. Then they are doing, they're showing sabr. They might even be patient in the aspect of establishing the prayer. But it means there's weakness in their iman, weakness in their prayer. But they have a girlfriend. So that means they're patient in doing the uh, commands of Allah, but they're impatient with regards to the sinful, the, the, the things that Allah has prohibited by avoiding the prohibitions. Then the third type of sabr, sabr ala ta'atillah, sabr ala ma'asiyatillah, sabr. The other type of sabr that I want to mention is just sabr ala adha, sabr with regards to the difficulties that you face in trials and tribulations because life is full of them and as a Muslim and a believer you're gonna be faced with many and that takes another type of patience to be patient when those tests come when you're tested in your Iman and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and make it easy for us all to be patient in a manner that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with Wa sallallahu wa sallam على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم